So my story started uh, when I was eight years old. Uh, I was diagnosed with a rare type of tumor around the ankle, so left foot. Uh, it was a big misdiagnosis at the time. Uh, the doctor made a mistake. They thought it was cancer, uh, so they decided to operate. So for eight years, I was in and out of surgery. But during that eight years, I wasn't able to go to school normally. Um, so I homeschooled myself the majority of the period. So when I turned 16, uh, obviously, um, I made the decision that we, we can either keep on going the treatment, but there was no promise I could ever be healed and be able to walk again, or we could choose amputation. So the amputation for me um, was a relief. It's bittersweet. So it, in, in, in the sense, I finally find some light at the end of the tunnel because I was promised that with a proth prosthetic leg, at least I can walk. Uh, I don't need crutches. I can kind of lead an independent life. In 2015, when I turned 30, I decided to actually revisit the dreams I had uh, when I was a kid. And one of them was Oxford. And I came back uh, in 2015 to, to sort of do the MBA program. Before Ashlong, I have always been wearing the carbon foot. So there's no movement. It's just a plain old fashioned carbon foot. Um, obviously with the carbon foot, I'm not able to, there's sort of navigate any, any, any uh, terrains or any curbs. And all of that. So I remember the first time I was trying it on, I was standing, literally standing up, have a conversation with a prosthetist, and then the prosthetist walked. So I kind of tried to follow him, and I was able to move without, like, my foot is still there, but I'm actually able to move. I was like, that, how did that happen? Because previously, when they're fixed angle carbon, if somebody moves, my my whole body needs to move. But with actual, I'm actually able to just navigate in my upper body, and my foot is still very stable steady state on the ground. I was like, that is amazing. I've never had that experience for 23 years being amputee. For the first time, I feel like a normal person just able to navigate. It's, I think working on a busy street, street is, is a good example because if I want to work faster than other people around me, I'm able to navigate in a very smooth and quick way. Because when you uh, try to avoid people and deliver, it's always a curve movement. So that means your body is in a curve. So the Ashton, the fact that it's able to navigate a little bit of degree, it goes with your body. I think Oxford is a very challenging place for um, amputees to navigate. Um, I really say stone and even terrain, that gives me a different angle of body that I need to compensate in order to balance myself. So with Ashlong, now I don't, my body doesn't need to balance because it's automatically balanced via the movement of the ankle. And then the second easiest thing is to navigating the, um, the, the stairs to go up and go down, which is now is very, very uh, natural and easy without me sort of jumping downstairs when you wear a, a, a carbon foot. It's a hydraulic ankle, but the way it gives you the support is also deliver very sort of a, a smooth experience. Because the ankle is able to move, your weight is equally distributed around the foot. So you have a very solid pressure point to give you the, the sort of the, the support when you navigate on the hill. I used to get tripped very, very easily. Now I can focus on just walking. When before actual, you, you just focus on the ground. Every time I walk, all my attention is on the ground, on the little uneven things, and I'm just make sure I can navigate. So your attention is always about 20% of your mind. It's not on the surroundings, it's on your foot. It is it's extremely exhausting. Because the walking is easy, your body will have consume less energy. That means the stomp is com more comfortable. It's, it's get tired uh, less easily. So in that sense, when I do long distance travel or when I kind of walk around all day for business and all kinds of activities, I don't get a lot of sore so the feelings in the stomp, simply because my whole body as a system is able to navigate things a lot easier. After Oxford, I decided to reinvent myself, uh, I would say again. Um, I always wanted to join, to, jump, to break into investment banking. It's one of the interesting uh, career fields that I feel I can contribute, I can do a lot with. So I joined investment banking right from Oxford and to start an analyst. 
It's a job I love. It's a job I'm still in, very luckily. So I'm a, now a, a associate director at, at one of the, at the Invest Tech, it's a good bank. It's been eight years, eight to nine years now, in running the investment banking industry. I love it. It is dynamic, it's fast paced. It gives you a lot of opportunity to learn and then to travel and to spend time with, with clients. So I really enjoy that experience. Nothing has helped me back. The way I see it is, I have a condition that I, can, I want, I need to navigate rather than there is a condition that I need to change my behavior or my journey. If you lose, if you're nearsighted or you have some other part of the body or, you know, not comfortable, you wouldn't be afraid of that. Yes, you can't see something clearly, but the moment you have a nice pair of glasses, like Gucci or Chanel glasses, it's beautiful and it's accessory and you can see perfectly. It's just a, a harder version of being nearsighted because all you need is a good leg, good foot, good prosthetic care, and show it off. The perfectionist that Blashford has shown is um, second to none. So every time I come to a fitting or talk to the, my prosthetist, they will spend hours with you. There's not never is a rush. It's always about you, always about how the product can make my life easier and they wouldn't let me go until they think you know this is the, the best they can do so i'm really appreciative of the time they've spent i cannot balance better i'm able to perform better in the gym uh i think the most important thing is now i can forget about walking i think that's life-changing because who think about who thinks about walking every day 24 24 7. you don't i can now literally forget about it and then that's the amount of sort of capacity is released from your brain is tremendous. You are able to focus on your actual day-to-day -day life. I think that's life-changing for me.